Hello folks, welcome to the Boost Creep here today. Today we're tuning a special treat. This is just one of these like Camber Gang, awesome lowered cars. This car has an FP Green. Uh, we've been having a fun day of it so far and I'm sure it'll end up fun. We're really just looking for about 400. Unfortunately, because of the size of the wheels, uh, this car, uh, it has a, a ton of camber, really heavy wheels. I think that's hurting his uh, his numbers today, so that's my excuse anyway. We always gotta have an excuse for why you're not hitting more numbers, no matter what the numbers are. Uh, but anyway, uh, so you can see it's got good fuel pressure. We're monitoring all sorts of things. This is one of my favorite things, is I monitor temperatures of things sometimes. Um, and you guys have seen me use this on intercoolers and things like that. But today I have a special treat. We're gonna actually use it here on the, on the wheel. Um, so let's do a dyno pull. We'll record it, uh, go over the pull, and then we'll, um, we'll go ahead and, uh, and, and see what uh, happens here. So we'll go over the or anything sad going on about 70% wastegate duty uh, 25 pounds 25.04 pounds um, ignition timing is pretty damn aggressive not gonna lie 23 degrees going up to 32 that is ridiculous that's way too much timing this is the honey badger map this customer demands almost that I make 400 which I'm okay with because an FP green should make 400 but let's go look at a scary thing I want to show you guys something that I'm uh, absolutely terrified of and which will keep me from going on a test drive in this car. So uh, it's been sitting for a minute, cooling down, but let's take a look at this stuff because I'm very curious about this. Um, right here, let's look at the, what's that glowing thing? That is the tire. So it doesn't even seem to be too terribly hot, but it's, um, as you can see, it's 134 there. And as I move over to the outside of the tire, it's about 80 degrees. So I don't know about you guys, but a lot of track racers actually use these thermal cameras to gauge how their alignment is and how their traction is. You're basically giving up most of this tire. You might as well have a, like a, a 185 on this car for the traction it's giving you. Um, but we don't care because it looks so fucking good. This is beautiful. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for joining us, and uh, let's see what we made on this pull. You can see there's no knock correction or anything like that going on. It's uh, beautiful. It's running about 12 to 1. This is my Honey Badger. Um, so the Honey Badger is meant to uh, be a very dangerous map. I'm usually running about 5 degrees less timing than this. We just had to see 400, and we did. So now I can back it down and tell him that if he ever runs the Honey Badger, he's going to be sad um, uh, for a long time. So. Uh, don't run the Honey Badger, Eddie, and we love you. We love your car. This is amazing. He did all this work himself uh, with the help of others, of course. He doesn't build the actual short blocks, but it's a good engine, and uh, congratulations. I love it, um, and have a great day, everyone.